So the last vlog ended a little bit abruptly, and that's uh, that's because I was I was interrupted. I actually filmed the ending of the last vlog twice. It ended something like this. I'm gonna just turn this off, clean up a little bit, and by then it should be completely dry and look like this. Well, actually. That's a little bit different. I hear some noise out front. What is that? So sometimes you gotta refilm stuff because of varying, uh, like right now I could restart it as Ashley is coming home, <laughs> but I'm not going to. Sometimes you have to restart things that you're filming because you're being interrupted. Okay, so earlier I was interrupted by, see this bald spot right here? Remember that improvised uh, scrap metal bin that I had there? It was a pickup truck. Well, it was picked up by a bigger truck. That's somehow a pun, I, I'm sure. Uh, and uh, yes, I heard a noise, went out there, then I had to refilm it. And that's how the last vlog uh, got interrupted. And here we are a little bit later in the day in this vlog in my real time. You can watch them together. You should watch them together. But anyways, we remember when I mentioned this here and how I had an idea, like a nice rich brown bookshelf floor to ceiling. I think that would look really oh, Actually, no, I changed my mind. I'm not sure if being interrupted made me think of this, but whatever the reason, I'm glad I did. Hey. Good, how are you? Good, crazy busy. Busy? So Clint here is working on a project right behind this door. And in doing so, had to demo a bunch of stuff and you have a bunch of leftovers that I'm able to take home. Yeah, use them for whatever projects you're doing at your place. Yeah. All right, thanks Clint. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate it. It's gonna help me a lot with my next project. <laughs> I'll see you, well. Well, you'll be back here to do some taping soon. Right, so we were just inside. Uh, this is gonna be a brewery for one of your friends, right? Yeah. And uh, much like you did the cigar room for one of your other friends, friends. Yeah. this is gonna be super badass like that in a different way, it has a different yeah. aesthetic, but. Tap room in the front and everything. So yeah, it'll be fun. So Josh is gonna do a whole bunch of the mudding and taping for us again. Once again, the boring stuff, but it's still a cool project to still be a, cool a part project. of. Yeah, that's right. All right, I'll see you later, Clint. All right, I'm in a bit of a hurry because right now I am going to head over to my friends to do to finish off another boring job, mudding and taping, which I started like just at my friend's house here with Steve. He's gonna help me so that this goes faster. The goal is to have a flat ceiling. If that's possible, that would be fantastic. Just depends on how the last people did their finishing coats, whether it's gonna be worth it or not to do it. But at the very least, we're gonna get rid of this water damage, tighten everything up in that area, as well as some of the other water damage from the two bathrooms upstairs. So this is the before, Although you can't really see it. It's got, yeah. This is the before. And this is after. Perfectly smooth, it worked out. We didn't have to uh, retexture it because underneath it was all good. How do you guys like it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we like it better than you like your back being bashed by our countertop. <laughs> <laughs> good, I'm glad. We are so thrilled and happy. Why, for the time it took and for the effort you put in, I would say that it was a job well done. Ding! Uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> 
<laughs> Sometimes the problem with uh, reclaimed wood is uh, snagging issues if it still has screws and stuff on it. There we go. Today, today is a cold one. I had to wear gloves. I don't normally like wearing gloves, but when it's cold out, I normally do. So, uh, the job that I was working on, my friend, obviously, they're uh, Alex and Melissa. Uh, I burnt my finger while working on that project, which was kind of a weird accident. So it's a scrape the ceiling sort of job. So you put plastic over everything. You don't want the, uh, the old texture to fall upon. And in this case, it went around their stove and whatnot. And on their stove, there was a plastic like wash bin that had drawers of salsa in it. And uh, <laughs> in theory, I could have burned this house down if things had gone worse. You can see that uh, the plastic is still melted on it, but it's also still good. Thanks, Melissa. Anyways, what happened was the, all the salsa was on top of uh, the burner on their stove, which was inside a plastic sort of wash tub. And uh, their stove is similar to this, but for whatever reason, theirs is really easy to turn on. This one, you kind of have to push and turn. Theirs is supposed to be like that as well, but they, they turn on super easily. Uh, what happened is I bumped it with the ladder, it turned on, didn't notice. All the smoke was building up while it was melting and uh, it came into the kitchen eventually. And uh, <laughs> actually, uh, Alex has a sort of a funny explanation video that he did last night. He did like a live video and he thought it was my, my thumb that got burned, but it was actually my finger. So part of the wash tub dripped on my finger. Could have been worse. And it actually did look worse a couple days ago, but the whole situation uh, could have been worse because uh, they were actually going going to bed and uh, we were just saying goodbye basically and then uh, um, So here here's what happens. Um, Josh has been working pretty much down there. We're chatting with him uh, And it's the end of the day. It's nighttime. We're all like oh, it was so tired. oh It's been a long day and we're like, okay, Josh. Well, it was super good scene He's like, well, I'm just gonna pack up and go and then um, he's like dude and you know how Josh reacts to things, dude. And um, we look and there's smoke starting to come out from underneath where the plastic is over by the stove. Melissa had a plastic container yeah. on the stove full of jars of salsa. Uh, thank you, Matthew, send us two bucks for fire prevention fund. <laughs> um, so <laughs> so uh, this plastic basically had ignited and, and smoked and smoke so much at such a high rate um, that it created this fog of dense, thick smoke, plasticky, chemical, oh horrible smoke fumes in the house. It wasn't like a bunch of flames, it was just smoke. So I pulled the plastic back, Josh reaches in and he grabs the, the melting bowl and uh, he goes to carry it outside or whatever he's gonna do with it, but it actually dripped onto his thumb and he got third degree burns on his thumb. It actually melted like a hole. You know, like if you ever see a picture of somebody who's been bitten by a brown recluse spider, he actually got a really bad burn. Yeah. It left a hole in his thumb. So Josh- and he didn't say anything. He got this crazy burn, didn't even say, ouch. Like, yeah, he told us the next day, he's like, yeah. dude, oh. look at my thumb. Anyway, the funny, the not the funny thing. It, none of this was actually very no. funny. Um, so actually, okay, a couple things happened. One, our house is full of smoke and we're panicking. What's Josh's reaction with his burnt hand and a house full of smoke? Dude, you should get your camera. I'm like, Josh, we got to make sure the house is safe right now. I'm not even thinking about grabbing my camera right now. He's like, well, it'd be good content for your channel. I'm like, no, I don't want to burn my house down for good content for the channel. Uh, even though he would have been absolutely right. He it was, was worried about the stove because there was melted plastic on it and it's a uh, glass top. And he used a razor blade and he got all the plastic off. And like, uh, I think stains that were on there that I didn't even know could come off. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's an accurate impression of me, but that's more or less how it went. I'll put a link in the description in case you want to watch the whole video there. Uh, I will also put a link to uh, his whole project video uh, that he's putting together for his renovations that he's doing uh, for his main floor there. Now, I was hoping that I was going to get a lot more of this material here, but... Uh, 
Clint, uh, Clint uh, is, reclaims and upcycles as much as possible too, so he actually ended up using a lot of the demolition material from that building. But that's okay, I have some more outside as well that I can use for this. So, what I'm actually doing here is... Basically, make a shelf built into the existing framing. Now, I need to see if Johnny B can come back and spray this white so that everything kind of matches. Because I got some of this stuff, some of this stuff, some of this stuff. You know, it's all different colors, which is fine, but it'll look better if it's all white. And right now, he is spraying Alex's ceiling, which is white. So hopefully he'll have leftovers and time. I'll call him right now. Hello? Hey, Johnny B. Oh, hey, Kevin, what's going on? <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> uh, you know how you're working on uh, Alex's uh, house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think we could use the uh, the leftover stuff for the uh, for my garage? Well, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that'd be cool. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's Don't do it. Out. Let's do it. So this is hilarious. I just came here because uh, I had some other errands to run, and I just wanted to point something out to you. This is exactly what started the other fire. I look how easy this is to to turn on. Super easy. Not gonna keep it on this time. But they put another plastic pail on there. I'm gonna move that over to here. Last time, all the smoke was building up behind here, and it slowly seeped out because it was like nicely sealed like this. Just averted another disaster. You're welcome, Alex and Melissa. All right, I'm gonna let you be because I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go pick up a new saw blade. Yeah, let Johnny be. Yeah, I said that, that's right. <laughs> okay, bye. I need to get a new saw blade, but just around the corner here, this is the last miter saw that I've been having my eye on and it's on sale right now. And it comes with a new saw blade, so may as well, may as well just get this. <laughs> I went there to get a new blade. I didn't go there to get a to get a saw. That's That's lunacy. I couldn't possibly afford that with the open box uh, policy and the sale that was going on. It was only 500 bucks. So uh, 
Psych! I decided to get the saw. This is too good of a deal. Uh, and I needed one here for my miter station. It's just such a good tool. It's compound miter, plus it has it this whatever hingey thing so that it doesn't back into the wall. Whereas this one would. It doesn't have the hingy thing. It's good in every other way. It's compound and all that jazz, but you know. So this is going to be my job site saw. And since Bosch isn't a sponsor, Just playing. I just keep this can because it's got the cool graphic. It doesn't even have a spray nozzle. Now what I'm actually gonna do is uh, just put on some put on some tape because really they don't sponsor me. There we go. We'll wait until the warranty runs out before we spray paint out those names. Now you might be now you might be wondering. What the heck that beeping is outside? Well, last night, while I was out getting everything and doing all my errands and whatnot, my uh, neighbor, remember how I said he was gonna be doing my driveway? Well, he started last night, and now he's back this morning. I'll give him a hand. For step one. Oh, so cool. Okay, he said he's gonna come back a little bit later to do some other details. He used to build roads, I guess, which is pretty cool. He's also gonna be building my road uh, that leads to the back of my property, which is pretty awesome. So all the stuff that we took off my parking pad is used as base over there and Next year sometime, maybe uh, we'll be able to finish that. I <sighs> can't wait till the gravel comes. But while he's doing that, man, it's so cold. Have you guys heard of the expression cold as balls? Well, today is definitely cold as balls. Look, I'm wearing gloves and I never wear gloves because gloves are, you know, they don't, uh, they get in the way kind of. So I only use them when they're cold or if something's uh, really sharp or pokey. Look, I even have the tag still on them. I've never worn them before. <sighs> okay, well, while he's gone, and uh, I have nothing, nothing too important to do elsewhere, I think I will do, I'll dress this room up a little bit. It's getting there. Oh, you know what'd be cool is if I uh, put in I can't see. 
So, uh, just as I uh, was about to do some work in my shop there, I had to come here and make a bonus clip. Well, truth be told, having a little issue with two trouble spots here. I really want this to tape out really nice, and uh, it just takes a little more love sometimes. Thanks for watching. Ah, Johnny B. I'm glad you didn't paint this yet. But sorry that you didn't get past primer. Yeah, Optimus Prime got a shine. <laughs> <laughs> okay.